Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am bringing you another budget with me. This is for August. I have already laid down my stickers and headers for my variable expense, fixed expense, and sinking funds, as well as the transaction log that I use for my checking account tracker. I'm just gonna go ahead and get right on in to filling all of this out. Starting off with variable expenses, these are the categories that can probably change uh, but for this month I am keeping it very similar to my July budget. The first category is groceries. That's gonna get $100. Okay and then the actual and the plus and the minus that's for the end of the month when I do my monthly recap. So Eating out is the next one. That is going to get $50. Entertainment. Gonna get $30. Fun is gonna get $120. Next is a beauty. After that is gas. I also have yard money. And sinking funds is going to be listed here. And um, this is going to be $550. I'll go into further detail on um, the side of the page with the categories. And the last thing is unbudgeted. And we're hoping for zero for unbudgeted. Um, now I can calculate my totals. So all of this together is going to equal out to $1,000. And then at the end of the month, I can go ahead and take a look at my actual numbers using the little trackers in my cash envelopes to see what I spent and um, what I did not spend. Moving on to my fixed expenses. Uh, these are going to be just the bills that I have to pay on a monthly basis. This is not going to change. So phone and internet is my first category. That is $74.87. I like to make sure I am very precise with these um, numbers. Association. $95.24. Car insurance. is 73.27 my cell phone is $95 my car payment $342.13. And then lastly, iCloud, which is $1.04. The total budget for my fixed expenses comes out to $681.55. And the expense total between fixed and variable that is going to be sixteen 
$81.55. So this is my total for both fixed and variable expenses. I am projecting to be um, contributing and using 600, well, $1,681.55 and that's not necessarily just using, it's just money that is being allocated to a specific category. Now moving over to my sinking funds. So sinking funds, if you don't know, this is just a category that you are saving money for something in the future. Um, this is just saving money, basically. Uh, putting extra income that you have into specific categories of your choosing so that once that occasion or that time comes around that you need that money, it is already sitting there waiting for you. So the first category is birthdays. In this envelope, I currently have $80 and I budget for the month $20. Next is occasions. For some reason, I, I can never remember how to spell occasions, but similar to birthdays, this will always mirror each other. Currently $80 and contributing 20. Next is Christmas. This currently has $710, contributing $80. Um, then car maintenance. Is $65. And then contributing 20. And then the last thing I have is vacation, which is $200, well I mean not $200, $2,300, and I will be contributing an additional $300. And I have run out of space, so I'm gonna have to put one more category actually on the bottom, and that category is, let me just put right here, Continuation. Can you see that? Continuation of sinking fund. So the last category is actually going to be a laptop. I do want to get a laptop, so we will start saving for that. It's gonna be very slow saving because I have other obligations. So that's $100 and currently I have nothing in that um, envelope. Okay, moving back up to the totals once again. So that is going to be $550. And then uh, for that amount there, I'm gonna have to get my phone. So for the actual amount that I have for these categories, so 80 plus 80 plus 710 plus 65 plus 2300. So that's $3,235. So I'll go ahead and write that. I didn't make those boxes long enough. Oh well, whatever. Um, and then if I am going to be using any money from these envelopes, I'll just put used and then, um, you know, what the difference is. Now moving on to the transaction log. This is where I put all of my bills and the accounts that they're coming from, whether it be cash or my checking account. So we'll just fill this out. So CA is checking account. First thing is association. This is gonna be, this was taken out on the first. 
Next is phone and internet. That is taken out on the six. Next is cash. Whoops, I hate that. I hate when I smudge it. Oh. So, um, so I actually paid for that one today. What is today? The third. And then car insurance. That is on the 15th. And that is 73.27. And the last one is iCloud. Without fail, this one always gets taken out on the fifth of every month. So dollar and four cents. All right guys, so this is my finished August budget. Pretty much everything stayed the same for variable and fix, except for um, minor adjustments for my sinking funds. Um, and yeah, this is everything that I have. I will be going back and referring to this. In my next video, you will be seeing my cash envelope stuffing video for my first August paycheck as well as an overview that I have already laid out. Here's a little sneak peek. But I hope you guys enjoyed checking out my August budget. If you guys have any comments or questions, please write them down below. I'd be more than happy to get back to you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.